Uh, the corruption scandal uh, in the Eastern Cape province, uh, the MEC there of health, Cindy Swakomba, having been charged alongside other officials uh, who were with uh, the uh, municipality of Buffalo City. This was uh, some seven years ago at uh, the funeral of former President uh, Nelson Mandela. The allegations there are those of fraud and corruption. Let's speak now to Eastern Cape ANC Secretary. Uh, Lulama Ngaitobi. Mr. Ngaitobi, thank you very much for your time. Uh, firstly, why is the MEC, Cindy Swakomba, still in her job? Thanks very much, uh, Polani. You still remember that uh, 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 she was only indictment, indicted uh, on Friday. Mm. So we did not have a working day on Friday, and therefore the Provincial Working Committee is going to sit on Monday to consider matters that surround her. So it's, it's a matter uh, that relates to, uh, that I can't answer on behalf of her, why she still is there. Mm. But we'll understand on Monday, uh, because we're going to meet with her directly mm. and the Congress of the African National Congress, uh, uh, MPs, uh, leaders of the African National Congress that are also involved yeah. in that particular indictment. Mr. Ngoi these are very serious charges that have been leveled against Gomba and her co-accused. Should the public still trust Cindy Gomba as their health MEC? It's a matter that we're taking it very seriously, and uh, the charges against her uh, does not add to the integrity, morality, to uh, be in the face of any department, to head a serious department as, as health. Mm. I, I, I think I, I, I sympathize with that particular view. Uh, uh, henceforth, uh, we have to meet tomorrow. Uh, uh, as you still remember, that uh, it's a matter that happened uh, seven years ago. Mm. Charges were dropped. Uh, uh, she was then uh, having no case against her. She was appointed in the intervening period. Uh, the case has been reinstated. Mm. And we have to take uh, steps again at the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC mm. in case she does not see it within herself to take uh, uh, a decision in the best interest of both the people of the Eastern Cape and uh, the African National Congress, which is an, his uh, own organization. Yeah, well... So we are going to take, take, take uh, uh, a decision at least by tomorrow. Yeah, okay. So uh, basically what you are saying is that you're relying on Cindy Sokomba to... Uh, talk to her conscience and let it be the one uh, that decides whether or not she should step aside. But uh, the issue of the step aside is what is actually being discussed, as uh, we understand it, at the NEC meeting this weekend. But before we get there, Mr. Ngurai Tobi, I want for you to tell the people of the Eastern Cape province how it is possible that Cindy Swakomba was appointed to this position in the first place, as you say, this is a case that goes back seven years ago. Corruption that was uh, allegedly conducted, at, this in regards to funds that were towards the funeral of one of the greatest presidents that this country has ever seen. Why in the world would Cindy Swakomba have qualified in the first place uh, to be appointed to this position? Doesn't that talk to the leadership of the Eastern Cape and how um, they view the residents of the Eastern Cape, that you, you take a dim view of the people and uh, citizens, or should I say residents of that province, that you would uh, appoint someone like Sindhu Sakomba who had charges, such serious charges against her in the first place. Well, uh, uh, it's, it's part of those uh, issues uh, that is quite difficult to explain. Uh, look at, at, at an instance wherein you are alleged to have done anything wrong mm. and uh, charges against you uh, are being withdrawn. And uh, uh, you are reinstated to the institution and you are given another opportunity to serve the people. In particular, given that... Uh, when, when we, 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 we appointed her uh, uh, into that particular position, there were no charges uh, uh, pending against her. Mm. So that is the truth. 
that we have to face. Uh, so when there are no charges preferred against an individual, the presumption of that uh, individual as innocent and therefore qualifying her for any responsibility before ourselves, I think it's an important issue because uh, 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 the courts are competent more than any other institution to make determination. Now yeah. that uh, the, the charges are preferred, reinstated against her, then we are going to take that particular matter as serious as it has been placed before the courts and deal with it. Uh, probably the, one of the issues that we are going to rely on mm. is the Indicative Committee report that was uh, served before us and also combine it with the Public Protector's report that had uh, uh, a view about it. But because courts are an institution that deals with uh, uh, all disputes, so yeah. we thought that uh, courts have, uh, have uh, taken a decision about it. Yeah, we all know Mr. Nguai Tobi, and um, I don't think that uh, you can uh, deny what has been said by the party itself, that the ANC is a divided organization. It's a factional uh, organization. Cindy Swakomba, some view her as a powerful individual. Might that be a reason why perhaps she might not fall on her sword tomorrow, for example, after your meeting with her? <laughs> no, 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 Paul. <laughs> you are taking it too far. The ANC is not as divided as it is uh, uh, presumed outside, outside there. It's, it's capable to sit its meetings, take decisions, mm. collective decisions, and uh, action its own, own out outcomes. So uh, henceforth, you can uh, 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 inform you now and the population of our province that uh, the ANC is going to take decisions in the best interest of the people of the, uh, of the province. But it's always useful uh, when a uh, uh, case of this particular nature uh, happens that an individual with a conscience leads the process so mm. that uh, the organization has not to intervene in such matters. Yeah. So, so that's why uh, uh, we, we, I, I'm saying once again, without any fear of contradicting myself, that uh, it's always important that people and individuals are led by their own conscience mm. on matters of this particular nature, placing the interest of the population and the uh, and the country first, and that of the organization that she or he serves. Well, I'll tell you about the issue uh, around uh, the reliance on an individual's conscience. You are the very same leadership of the ANC in the Eastern Cape that has called for former President Jacob Zuma to, uh, and his membership of the party to be suspended because of what he said, and that is that he is going to defy uh, the Constitutional Court directive for him to appear before the Zondo Commission tomorrow. So why in the world would you rely on Cindy Swakomba to do the same, the very same reliance no, 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 on no, a conscience? No, 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 no we're, not, we're not relying on her, on her uh, uh, conscience, but it's important, I'm saying it's important because the organization has to, to act if an individual does not, I'm saying from Friday up until Monday is quite uh, 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 enough opportunity and time for mm -hmm. a person to have made a decision. If that decision is not made, the organization and the government which she serves under the premiership has to take appropriate decision. Mm -hmm. I'm saying by, by tomorrow we will have made our mind so far as that particular matter. But because I'm an individual, the structure has to sit so that I can communicate on behalf of the structure. But I know it's a matter of fact that uh, our anchor is the resolution of the ANC 54 on the renewal, integrity, and morality of the organization, on how do we deal with these particular matters. So, so that's, that's the issue. There is, there is no contradiction about what we think ab about this particular matter insofar as uh, JZ's uh, uh, former president's issue. We, we are still committed to what we, we said about mm -hmm. him because that which we said about him was based on our analysis of the fact that uh, there is an, not, not only an indictment, but a judgment from the Constitutional Court that must appear before the uh, Zondo Commission. Then th is, there is no way in which uh, a member of the ANC can contradict what the ANC said as, as supporting the work of the uh, Zondo Commission and supporting the constitutionalism. That it was an insult to both the organization and the population of our country that seek to uh, ensure that the constitutionalism uh, mm. thrives. So, do you know 
as we speak here right now, whether the ANC, the top leadership structures, have had a conversation with the former president about his possible appearance at the Zondo Commission tomorrow. Do you know whether that discussion has happened? I, I will not know. I will not know. I will not lie. And, and it's, not, it's not an area that I would wish to venture in. But our input as the same kid, ANC, was that uh, he must be held accountable for his action. What does being held accountable mean, Mr. Nwaito? That uh, the, if he, he refuses to, to hit the call, that uh, people, members of the African National Congress and leaders of the ANC must appear before the Zondo Commission and support the Zondo Commission in executing its own task. If he refuses to do that, and if he uh, does not heed the, co the constitutional court judgment, therefore the ANC national leadership of the ANC must ensure that uh, he appears before his uh, uh, pro uh, processes uh, of discipline. We're still in conversation with uh, the Eastern Cape ANC Secretary, uh, Lulama Ngurai Tobi, and uh, we're speaking about the issue of uh, the health MEC there, Z Cindy Swakomba, who has been recharged by the NPA for corruption and fraud relating to the funeral of the former president, uh, Nelson Mandela. Mr Ngurai Tobi, let's pick up on that last point, um, and that is that you were elected in a conference that was later to be dubbed by the very president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa, when he went essentially to legitimize your conference, if you will, but you may argue the point. But your conference was not one that stood as an example of what an ANC conference should be, and so some will look at you and still say you are an illegitimate structure. So what, uh, what audacity do you have to speak about uh, <laughs> principles of ethics? Uh, uh, part of what we, we are arguing is that uh, the organization must uh, not uh, treat courts and the constitutionalism with disdain. Our conference with those uh, that will argue the same have tested the legitimacy of the conference in which we were elected even to the highest of the courts, the mm -hmm. Constitutional Court. And uh, the Constitutional Court uh, uh, said all the processes uh, that were supposed to be followed in the conference in which we were elected were followed and followed to the latter. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing uh, that delegitimizes the ANC conference of the Eastern Cape, and we're a leadership that was produced by such a, a conference. It's, it's part of, of why, why the ANC has called for renewal. It's yeah. because of the mistakes that have, have happened in the past, and uh, therefore we are calling for both the renewal and the unit of the African National Congress yeah. in order to salvage the revolution of South Africa. So it's, some, it's, it's an opportunity for renewal. It's part of those things that were identified in the diagnostic report, if you still remember of the difficulties mm. the ANC has to undertake. But we have turned the corner and we are uh, uh, expected to lead and lead that particular process of uh, renewal. Very briefly, uh, we are out of time, but uh, if you're so sure that uh, you have indeed turned the corner, uh, some will say you shouldn't only be looking at the former president, Jacob Zuma, but what about the current leadership at the very top of the ANC? that are colloquially known as the top six. We're talking about Ace Mahashule, who faces criminal charges in court, but also some will say the very president of the ANC, as some have been saying, that he bought the conference in Nazareth. <laughs> yeah, those matters are before. I know that uh, the national uh, leadership of the ANC is dealing with those particular matters. And uh, uh, I know, as, as it is a matter of fact, that uh, at some stage, uh, even they released uh, press statements to the effect that uh, they will wish to appear before the Integrity Commission, uh, uh, and they have appeared. Mm. Uh, I will not be in a position to comment further about that particular matter. But, uh, but uh, the African National Congress has to renew it, uh, itself. Uh, to say we are turning the corner does not mean we have completed the cycle. Mm. It's, we are in that particular process. It's a painful process, 
but it's a necessary process for the ANC to regain uh, the credibility and the integrity and the moral capabilities to lead the revolution of South, South Africans. All right, Lulama Ngurai Tobi, I thank you, sir, for your time, the Secretary of uh, the ANC in the Eastern Cape, and you heard quite clearly that uh, whilst they waited for Cindy Swakomba uh, to, I guess, speak to herself, have a conversation uh, with herself, or in other words, have uh, allow her conscience to speak to her, uh, whilst they waited the whole weekend, now a meeting is going to be held with her and uh, a decision in the best interests of residents of the Eastern Cape.